All right. Uh, for the first time in his presidency, official domestic travel uh, for the president of the United States will be in Wisconsin, will be in Michigan. Busy traveling agenda here. Um, Grady Trimble has more from Wisconsin. Grady, what, what's he going to be up to? Neil, uh, one of the things he'll be talking about today is manufacturing. And I'll tell you, the manufacturers here in Wisconsin are happy to have the president's attention. And while he's here, they're trying to make the most of the fact that he's here. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers laid out top needs for the sector, including a business friendly tax structure, an infrastructure plan, and equitable trade deals with countries like China. We're at Husco, where they make hydraulic parts and other components for vehicles. We talked to the CEO here who says there are better ways to help create manufacturing jobs than the Buy American Executive Order the president recently signed. Buy American's great. You know, as an American manufacturer, I don't need rules to force people to buy American products. I think if you give us a level playing field, American manufacturers win because we've got the best products, the best value, and the best performance. So Buy America is fine, but I'd rather see him focus on rolling back tariffs and a big infrastructure package. And Wisconsin actually added 3,900 manufacturing jobs during President Trump's term, despite the pandemic, where the overall U.S. economy lost manufacturing jobs. So they're hoping to build on that momentum here in Wisconsin and grow the sector even more, Neil, but also help other states who have seen a decline in manufacturing jobs. Neil. Grady, thank you very, very much for that. Grady Trimble reporting from Wisconsin.